So I recently had a person ask how to create a built-in hinge on a sheet metal part. So let's take a look at different ways you can do that. So in this video, I'm going to go about showing how you can create a hinge using sheet metal like you see here. So I'm going to start a new design and jump into the sheet metal tab. And I'll start with a new sheet metal component. So I'm going to click on the sheet metal type here. And I'm just going to use the default uh, steel millimeter uh, sheet metal rule. And let's start by creating a center rectangle. So if I go into rectangle, center rectangle, and let's make the overall width of this part, let's make that like eight inches um, by, let's do like 12 inches. Okay, then I'm going to use the flange command uh, to select that profile and we get our sheet metal part. Now what I want to do is create the hinge off of one of these sides. So I'm going to create a sketch and because I did a centered rectangle, my origins like right in the center of this uh, sheet metal part. So I'm going to go ahead and select this front plane. So we're kind of looking at it, looking at it like so, and I'll go ahead and project this part right here. So we get this location. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to create a, a little bit of an offset here uh, so there's room for the other hinge to join with it. So I'm going to use the line command and you'll notice the line command actually has like a straight segment and then a curved segment. And what this basically allows us to do is if I click one point and then I click and hold the next point, it's going to create a tangential arc from that point. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to say line. I'm going to go ahead and click this point here and then I'm just going to click some random distance and I'm going to click and hold and I'm just going to create an arc like so. And then I'll click this green checkbox. Now I want to go ahead and dimension this. So I'm going to throw a dimension. So I hit the D key, which is the shortcut for dimension. And let's just go ahead and dimension this segment here. Let's just make that maybe like 0.2. And then I'm going to also dimension the radius of this arc. And I want that to be um, pretty small. So let's just say like 0.125. And now you can see that we've created kind of this little loop like so. And I might bring this arc back down just a little bit. And I'm going to say finish sketch. And so what we've just done here is created this profile. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the flange command. And if I were to select this profile and start to drag, you'll notice that it's going to use this profile and create a sheet metal part. But you'll notice it says new body. So if I were to say OK right now, I would have two separate sheet metal components. Now here's a neat little trick that not a lot of people know about. If I hold down my shift key and I add in this line, so you'll notice my profile is like touching this line right here. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and select that line. You'll notice I get a totally different result and it's actually connecting my profile to the existing model. And in this case, it's a full edge. So that's why you see it going like the full edge. If I come in here and say symmetric and I start to drag like so, it's basically saying it's going to go 0.536 in one direction and 0.536 in the other direction. I want the total width of this portion right here to be 0.5. So I'm going to type in 0.25. So it's going to go 0.25 in one direction, 0.25 in the other, for a total of 0.5. And now you can kind of see what it's doing. It's, it's taking this profile and it's joining it with that edge. And you can kind of see how it's all connected and it's not a separate body. In fact, you don't even see new body or anything like that on here. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Let's go ahead and verify that this is still a valid sheet metal 
component. So I'm going to say unfold. I'll uh, specify my stationary entity and sure enough that unfolds. So we can, we just verified that that's a valid sheet metal component. And then I can come in and say uh, pattern. And let's do a rectangular pattern. And instead of bodies, I'm going to change it to features. And I want to pattern this flange feature that we just created. So I'm going to click on that feature there. I can specify my axis. I'll go ahead and select a line that kind of defines the axis. And I'll start to drag. And you can kind of see it gives me a, a little bit of a preview of what that looks like. And let's go ahead and do it symmetrically. And I'm going to do, um, let's do seven in this case. And I want to do, instead of the extent, let's do the spacing. And let's just space them every one inch. I'll go ahead and say OK. And we can now see that it took that feature that we created and it patterned it symmetrically in both directions. And what's nice about this is if we came back to our original sketch and made a change, so for example, if we drop that down a little bit and finished our sketch, it's going to update that on all of those. Let's go ahead and change that back like so. And now we have this hinge. And I could do the same thing. I could create another, another sheet metal component uh, with, you know, the the hinge in between these guys for the, you know, the mating part. I could also come in here and, you know, add flanges to these other edges like so to, you know, create the little wings or whatever that fold down. Let's just make those one inch. Okay. So let's do another quick example. Um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll come in here and specify, you know, sheet metal, component. I'll say okay, let's do the rectangle. I'll do the center rectangle. And once again, we'll do like 12 by 8. And create the flange. But this time, let's take a look. Um, when I, I'm going to go ahead and project this. The last time what I did was I came off of this edge here. Uh, but this time I'm going to kind of curl the hinge down below, just showing that you have lots of different options here. So instead of coming out, I'm going to come down like so and click and hold and then just kind of bend like so. I'll throw some dimensions on here. Let's go ahead and make that 0.2 just like before. Um, and let's make this a little bit larger. I think last time we said 0.125. Uh, let's make this 0.25 just to be a little bit different. And let's drag that down. And again, I want to, I'm doing it this way to kind of show you the power of this joining a profile with a, an existing edge. So once again, I'm going to use the flange command. I'll go ahead and select this and start to drag. And here's a very obvious example that it's not really joined with this edge. But as soon as I hold down my shift key and I select that edge, we can see that it's joining with that edge and it's adding that bend for us automatically. Because, you know, right here, it's a basically it's a sharp corner, but by joining this vertical profile with that edge, it's going to create that bend for us. Just like before, I'll do symmetric. And here you can see it's doing the uh, bend reliefs for us. Let's do the uh, 0.25 just like before. And what I wanted to show are some of the options in here. So you can see it's doing this bend relief. Okay. And our hinge is basically at the same plane as the edge of our sheet metal part. I have these this orientation side one, side two, and center. So here it is at side one. If I go to side two, you can see how now like this side 
is in line with the front edge of the sheet metal component. So let's just kind of jump back and forth so you can see side one, it's kind of inset a little bit. Side two, it's kind of off a little bit. And then if I say center, you can see how it's centered with that edge. So let's go ahead and leave it at side one. I'll go ahead and say okay. Uh, another neat little trick that I like to do here is if I expand open my sketches and I turn on my sketch, I can actually grab this point right here and drag that up and I can basically drag this point until I get the, the sheet metal as close as I want without it intersecting. So I don't want this to intersect like so because then I'll get a warning, but I can drag it as close as I can um, to get a nice curve like this. Once again, I'll verify that it's a valid sheet metal component. I'll say unfold all the bends, say okay, and sure enough, this is a manufacturable sheet metal component. And then just like before, we could do the pattern. With features, I'll do the uh, contour flange, select the axis, tell it which direction I want it to go. Um, in this case, let's do it symmetrically. And let's just do um, spacing. One inch spacing and let's do seven of them and say okay. And we now have our built-in sheet metal hinge. Hopefully you learned something new in that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to stay informed on upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, please visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.